Did Girl Tech just leak the Minds revamp? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be going over a leak that I just received and everything else you need to know with the upcoming updates in the next week. So I say, without further ado, we get right into it. Alright, first things first, I don't know why it's not going to let me join a lobby for this video, so my mouth is not going to move. But as you can see, Girl Tech updated the message today to say a couple things. First off, the Mad Scientist pack and all of the Science Update items, including the Science Update map, is leaving in one week. So, if you want to get any Science Cosmetics, now is the time. And the other thing it's saying that I missed yesterday is the Winter Flashback items are leaving in the same time. So we only actually have one more week to get any winter items that you missed out on last year. So grab them quick and we will be getting to you, Mr. Crack, after. So as you can see the Mad Scientist pack here, you get 10,000 shiny rocks and these three items for $30 or wherever it is for you. For me, it's $30. But yeah, that'll be leaving in just one week. Along with all these winter flashback cosmetics, this science item shop and this winter flashback sign and this all this snow will be melting. And of course, the beloved mini map, the new science mini map that came out with a paid for item on top. Why did they have to make that paid for? And oh, oh, oh it's almost time. Everyone thought that the next update would be a space map uh, in the rotating map, but we just got confirmed leaks today. I actually was almost right on what the next update is going to be. For those of you who thought I was lying, I wasn't. The next update is going to be a new game mode in the rotating map. A game mode that we all know as Capture the Flag. Now, for those of you who don't know, I posted this video a couple of days ago now. I think it's probably a week ago now on the Capture the Flag game mode. Potentially, got it got leaked then, and it actually was a real leak. I thought it was fake. It was actually a real leak. And this is the official leak of one of the moderators slash devs of the game. It wasn't meant to be out here, but it got leaked. And it is just the, some of the code slash write-ups for the Capture Flag game mode. So that means that the next update is going to be using the rotating map for Capture Flag. So as you can see right here is the rotating map. So this may potentially be, we don't know what the map's going to be yet, but I hope it's some sort of really cool theme map. And then there's going to be a capture flag game mode. And capture flag is just such a fun game mode where there's two teams and two flags. You are trying to get the opposing team's flag and bring it back to your flag before getting caught. Hopefully they have a big enough, I don't know if this is a big enough map for capture flag, but I think if they put like movement and rails and lots of cool zip lines, it'd be really good for capture flag. I mean, just look at this map right now. It's Shrek. So yeah, we don't know officially what the actual map is going to be here, but I do know something else. So right below me is Gorilla Tag's next potential map, and I'm not talking about the rotating map. Uh, I'll see you down there. Oh, great! This right here is Gorilla Tag's pool of ice, I guess. They usually have it here in the winter update. All of this that you're seeing right now is gonna be melting, so say bye to the bland forest and say hi to the spring forest. This, my friends, is where it gets very weird. So last year, Gorilla Tag did not have a big crack, and for those of you who think this means that there's gonna be a forest revamp, I'm sorry, but I don't think that's true. If you go down from forest, you know where that goes? Caves. And, uh, we haven't got mines yet, have we? So if we make our way down to caves, you'll see that it's been revamped, and it's been revamped for a while now. I think about four or five months. And another thing you'll realize is there's a dripping crystal. This dripping crystal has also been here for a while, but these ones haven't. So this dripping crystal, right? It's melting. But you know what's directly above this? The crack. And if I'm wrong about that, which I don't think I am, then it's directly above this. A platonic purple crystal. And if you look above it, there's fractures of ice on the ceiling. Meaning that something is going to melt, crack, and open. And open a second entrance to caves and maybe open up a new mines. Like, guys, just think about it. Imagine if mines reopened and we'd have a new whole mine to account for this weird lack of creativity in caves. If you don't know, caves used to be a very gem-filled, open-based map, and now it's kind of just big crystal, and there's different levels. Now, I do like this take on it, but I did like the OD more because if you went to the second level of caves, it was mines. The most beloved map, aside from forest. That is making me think that the big crack is gonna either be from there or there, and it'll get an end, there'll, and there'll be a path lead off, so you can either go to caves from that drop down in forest, or go to mines. So yes, I truly do think there's a possible possibility for mines to finally return and for caves to get a revamp. Not like a complete revamp. That crack is nothing to look past, okay? Probably won't be a forest revamp yet, but that's probably a good thing, right? We don't we don't want forest to change at all. I think it's better if mines comes back first. So, get your thinking caps on. Comment what you think the next update is going to be. I really do think, like I said, it's going to be this mines update with a capsule flag game mode. Don't forget about that. It's going to be capsule flag for part of it. Probably some capsule flag cosmetics. And then forest gets a change later on. And then the mines update. Hope you did all enjoy this video. And as always, I will. See you all later!